Hi, it's Mika Fasting Weight Loss, and today I am sharing what I ate um, and what exercise I did on day 59 of my OMAD Weight Loss Challenge. Um, first, I'm going to say my highest weight ever was 297. Um, it didn't go past that because it gave me a reality check of how close I was to 300, and I started going down. Um, when I started this YouTube channel um, with fasting, I was 273.2. Um, that's what I started this um, personal individual YouTube channel as. My goal originally was 199, but then I moved it to 183.2 just so I could say I lost 90 pounds on YouTube. Um, so my goal currently is to go to 183.2. Once I get to 183.2, I will have lost the 90 pounds, and then I want to gain muscle. I don't care how much weight I gain because the more muscle, the better. Um, not trying to be a bodybuilder, um, but as long as I don't go back to the 200s, I don't care. Honestly, I don't, and I don't care who thinks I'm obese or whatever. If I've slimmed down and I'm building muscle, I don't care. Um, okay, yesterday was successful OMAD. Oh, um, I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday, which was at home. I also had a kind bar. I went to the grocery store on the way home. I had the kind bar. Okay. Then I prepared my food. Um, I need to get more protein in. Like I was going to buy, I'm going to have meat today, but I just don't feel comfortable eating the meat, which is crazy. Cause I do still buy the burgers and stuff out there. I'm trying to figure this out, what I'm going to do, but I'm not going vegan. I'm not going vegetarian. And as you see, I do a lot of dairy. Um, I do a lot of that. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to address a few things that people left in my comments. I appreciate, I'm shocked. I have not had to block anyone. I have not had to delete any comments. I'm like really shocked. Um, and thankfully, my mindset is really good at the moment that it wouldn't, really hurt me or anything. The only comments that are kind of iffy is just because that person doesn't know me. But if you've been watching my journey for two or three years, you would know more about my philosophy for my journey and my life. Um, but no people don't know. I still didn't make that trailer that I need to make. Um, <sighs> Before I even show you my weight, I'm going to tell you, like, people don't understand how my life is at all. Like, I don't tell you that I was in the ER last week. I don't tell you guys that. I don't tell you, like, my other addictive things that I have that I deal with. Like, it's not just food. It's everything. Like, literally everything. I used to be addicted to gambling. Like, not to the point where I would spend rent money, but to the point where I have spreadsheets written out how I'm going to spend the millions because I thought I was going to win like every time. And I would play those um, Powerball or whatever it was. It was so long ago. It was before I was Muslim. I'm not supposed to gamble now. So I don't go to casino. I don't do the lottery, even though I like to look at what the progressive is. I don't intentionally walk and see what it is or ever look it up. But if it wasn't against my religion, oh, I would be gambling. Um, but not to not pay my rent and my bills. Um, just extra. You have to be in it to win it. So I don't know. I would still be probably doing that. I would definitely be like going to the, the casino. You guys know I don't have a man. So I can't do the things I want to do because I don't. There's some things you don't want to do with kids or a best friend that you want to go do. Okay. One thing that I could do all by myself would be go to the casino and really enjoy myself. I don't even know what else I could do that I would really like besides going to the gym, which I don't really go because life is hectic and I get my body hurts so bad from Amazon. It's just hard for me to do. Okay. Um, but I still pay for Planet Fitness and I still pay for the family membership at the YMCA. I do not believe in canceling a gym membership. I think you need that punishment of that bill for not going. If you're healthy enough to go, I feel like you need to go and don't cancel your membership. It's not their fault that you're not going. Unless you're doing an exercise at home. It doesn't matter what we exercise. Whew. Okay. I'm just going to tell you my day. I, from yesterday till today, 3.30, I'm at my hair salon. I do dreadlocks. 3.30 to probably 6.45. 
I did the person's hair because I had too many people on the non-Amazon days. I could not fit everyone. Um, so then I went there, got to Amazon late. I did sit in my car for an hour or two because I was dealing with stressful things that is happening in my life. So I sat there for an hour and a half. Then I went into Amazon. I worked about 8.15 p.m. to 4.45 a.m., okay? Came home, took my shower, went to sleep. I don't know why the heck I woke up early. Then I had a Zoom meeting. Um, I'm in like 10 at least. I'm oily because I went to get a massage. <laughs> I went to, I'm in at least, at least 10 investment business things, at least, okay? Um, and they all have Zoom meetings or they all have things I need to kind of be in the loop a little bit at least. So I did that um, and then my body is hurting. I was like, I'm going to go get a massage. I started my sweet potato in the oven and then I went and got my massage I just came back now, um, and it is 3 o'clock. My kids are about to be home. They're probably just getting home. My food, I'm about to complete it and prepare it. And three, it's 3.07, so I'm going to prepare my food, eat. I'm making this video. Um, there's a point to why I'm telling you my schedule, because someone recommended, I appreciate recommendations, that I eat the same time every day. Totally not going to happen. My days every day is so different, and it's so packed. And if I'm not hungry at, like right now, if I say three o'clock every day, it'll work for Amazon days, but I might not be hungry exactly at three o'clock. Um, and it will not work for my hair days because I work 10 to eight um, doing hair and then I work overnight. Like it's very difficult to work the seven days with two different day and night schedules. Like, okay, so I'm gonna eat. I need to do some cleanup. I need to schedule some hair clients. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to do that. Um, I need to I need to put a description, keywords for this and upload it. Then by five o'clock, I need to drive my son to a different city to drop him off at basketball practice. Then I need to go, I have a 615 Zoom and I have to be on it. They say it's mandatory. I start Amazon at 615, which is about 30 minutes from where I'm gonna drop my son. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm I'm not going to do a time, but even if I didn't have that, I'm not one to want to eat at a specific time. I don't think I have to um for success. Um but I do appreciate the recommendation, recommendation. But just for my life and not everybody's life could be so extra, like so structured. Um yeah, so that's my day. Like it's non-stop movement, it's non-stop thinking. It's so much. But today, I'm in the best mind set. I just got my full body massage, and oh, man. It's not so relaxing because it's painful. I don't even know what they do, but they use their elbows and stuff. But I need all of these muscles, like, massaged and whatever they're doing. So my body's feeling better. My shoulder, I'm telling you guys, I, I think I've done something to my shoulder and my foot with that job. It's hard to even think about going to a doctor like I have to find one and then I have to make the appointment okay so speaking of appointments tomorrow I wake up I have one son my one son's getting the vaccination I'm not um and let's see then I have the karate for the other child then I have Amazon like is no like time you know um so here's the weight <laughs> 244.2 that's minus two we're going back down. We need to get back down under the two, 240 because that's not good. Um, someone said, don't let yourself get back to the 250s. Yes, I'm trying hard not to, and I'm trying to get back. Every time I go down 10, I feel like a huge accomplishment because 230 looks way different than 240, and 240 looks way different than 250. And this 100 days started at 250.4. It's unacceptable for me to be down like 5.8 pounds. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, yeah, and I said I wanted to get out of this row at the 220s. Don't know if that's going to happen because I'm not feeling a no eating fast. And a few people recommend a 36 hour, a 48 hour reset. Yeah, I sh probably should. I don't know if I can handle that right now. Okay, especially now that I have to work the whole 10 hours at Amazon and it is extreme calorie burning. Like, I don't know that I can handle it. Um, but I am handling... The last few nights, 
I am handling no eating at work, just strictly the OMAD period. So that's a win. Um, I hold my phone. If my phone just cuts off, I'm just going to cut this off. Now I'm going to address, I was told, and 11 people minimum co-signed on this comment. Um, I'm just going to say a little piece of it because I don't remember all of it, which I appreciate comments. Anything that you want to say that doesn't offend me or is just plain out rude, I don't, I appreciate your comments. Um, yeah. So someone said you could just, it's okay to just stay fat and happy. Um, and you don't have to keep struggling forever. You could just stay fat and happy. No, I don't want to do that. How can I be happy? I still have high blood pressure. Um, I don't feel I look the best I could look, which that's going to be a whole nother video. I'll never have a decent looking body unless I get surgery. And that's a fact. And that's something people don't understand in my journey. You might be able to lose your weight and have an attractive body. I will not. It will look better, but it will not look attractive. Like it's going to be saggy. It's going to be, it's already not a shape there. Like it's not so motivating when it's still not going to look the way I want when I'm done. Like if I, if I had a before where I knew I looked amazing um, and that's what I was aiming for, that's a different story than what I have. I'm losing weight to still not have a body that I'm going to feel a, like I like. Okay. Um, and that's not shaming myself or downing myself. I'm very thankful and blessed for my body. I'm thankful for, um, I'm thankful for everything. Um, yeah, so I'm not down on myself. I'm not shaming myself. I'm actually proud of myself. Like, just making it day by day. I'm proud of all I'm doing, all I'm trying to do. And I don't like to be a whiner or complainer because I need to just be have gratitude. Like, really. It might come out complaining. I'm trying not to because I believe this life is a test. And if I'm over here complaining, I could be killing my blessings. Like, I need to just... Be strong, handle my trials and tribulations the best possible. Be thankful for what I do have. And um, yeah, I'm not staying fat. Um, I will keep going. I forgot someone told me to fix what I said, but I plan to keep trying until I die. Like, I'm not going to just stay fat. Like, that doesn't sound fun to me. That's not me. I will keep trying. And I don't feel bad that I'm taking forever because most people take forever and most people that get there don't stay there. Um, but I believe in me, you, everybody, like don't let people pressure you to do what they think you should do. Um, I, I'm so adamant about that. Like we are who we are and everyone has their own opinions and whatever diet you want to do, whatever exercise you want to do, you could do it and you could succeed. We all have different issues. My only issue is I'm not being consistent and I sabotage myself. Um, and I know this. And that's not just with weight loss. That's with everything. So I know my issues. It's not my carbs. It's not my, yes, the sugar and the carbs might trigger and make me go want more and go back and get a second ice cream. Or it might hold the weight on me, which will give me a higher number, which will mess with my mind. Um, sugar is definitely a drug. I 100% believe I could eat an OMAD meal and do a lot of exercise and put whatever I want in that meal and lose weight. Like, I really believe that. And I don't know that that's what I'm going to continue to do. It's definitely not what I'm going to do after the 100 days or after I get to 199 because my goals is not just losing weight. My goals is feeling good all day, building the muscle, being as healthy as possible, without the blood pressure medicine, not getting back on the metformin. Like, I'm proud of myself. And I'm feeling good. And I hope everyone that's struggling stay strong and um, find what works for you. And just know you're unique. And, like, you know yourself best, okay? Man, I'm so thankful <laughs> a lot of you guys are still here. Like, I I'm surprised and I appreciate it. Whew, this is a long one, but... A whole bunch of them were really short. So hopefully, man, if you made it to the end, I want to know because, man, that's awesome. That really makes me feel special. Here is the food I ate yesterday. Okay, here is my OMAD. This is a sweet potato with um, corn, black beans. This is the meatless... Um, 
ground beef, plant-based. This is broccoli with some cheese sauce. This is cheese. And then I have the salted caramel white chocolate sugar-free pudding and it has chia seeds, flax seeds, and hemp seeds. And I'm gonna have this and I'm also gonna put sour cream. And this is what I'm eating for today.